Well, news our viewers would know that if there's one thing that doesn't impress us here at Times now, it's symbolism and handshakes. We've seen a lot of it, so there's absolutely nothing new. Apart from the fact we have a new Prime Minister shaking hands with another relatively new Prime Minister. Symbolism apart, what happens after the handshake is what we are more interested in. MJ Akbar, national spokesperson of the BJP, and Maruf Raza, our consulting editor and strategic affairs expert on the Indian side tonight. And joining us from... Joining us from Islamabad, Lieutenant Colonel Shafkat Saeed, Defence Analyst. Javed Hussain is joining us from Lahore. And Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. Air Vice Marshal Rao, what do you feel has been achieved beyond the handshake? I found very little. If the two Prime Ministers meet once in a year and that too uh, uh, on formal occasions like the UN General Assembly or at Sharmul Sheikh or any other third place, uh, well, I will not call Delhi a third place, but if it is so infrequent, then even handshake, smile, a facial gesture becomes a breaking news for Indian media. Our media took it very normal uh, in a way. And I'm surprised pre-visit and post-visit comments coming from Indian media, I mean, they lack depth. Today, after his press statement, I mean, you said this was, uh, I mean, he should have admitted to you. I think he should have just come and seen and held a debate with you instead of your prime minister. What both prime ministers have said, I thought it was a positive gesture. Uh, what your media has failed to even, I mean, you're in a state of denial that you're talking about Kashmir with a letter K. Uh, remember, you are talking about 2611, that is 2008. What about 1948, when you have gone to uh, UN on Kashmir as a disputed territory? You don't want to do that. This is a state of denial for your leadership and for your media, particularly. So, therefore, unless that is resolved, I, I, you see, remember, precisely, remember, Arnab, there will be, sir, there can sir. be another war, there can be another provocative thing. War has not ended anywhere in this world. War option, you know. You don't treat see, Pakistan this, this like uh, America treats lots of nations. You are talking about, you know, hot pursuits. You are talking about do more. That is not the language we would like to hear from India or Indian leadership. Talk on equal terms and talk about both sides' problem. You are not in a position to give only demands that you have given five demands. There are a lot of demands against India. You better uh, address them also if you...
in any case, let's open up the debate. One second, let's open up the debate. I'm going to get MJ Akbar in and then Maruf Raza in on that. What happens after the handshake? MJ, MJ Akbar to you first. Uh, Arnab, uh, I mean, we all must remember that this was an initial handshake. Therefore, it could not have been a handshake of agreement, but we hope that it was a handshake of good intentions. Now, you know, bilateral uh, issues of contentious bilateral issues are not really on the agenda for SARC. But I would like to point out that terrorism is a multilateral issue and is a genuine SARC issue. Uh, there are many forces in Pakistan, I think perhaps you may have heard uh, one already, uh, who actually believe that you can play a sort of slightly duplicitous role with the likes of uh, Hafiz Saeed. May I just like to remind them that Hafiz Saeed and his ilk, and that great ilk of those who believe in terrorism, they don't have an agenda just for us in India. They also have an agenda for Pakistan. You know, I think that this is a moment we are on the precipice, on the edge of a very, very dangerous moment in the history of South Asia and what might be called South uh, West Asia. And that is that in 2015, NATO will be gone. And I think that those forces which believe that they have defeated first the Soviet Union and then uh, uh, NATO will actually rack it up or ratchet up their war against all and they have two objectives one might be called the far objective the far objective may sound absurd to you and I but of whether it is of an you know Islamic caliphate or whether it is Islamic space or whatever you like to have it I know this is uh, the wrong term to use because I am a Muslim and I hate to use the word Islamic in the context of such violence uh, but however one is that objective, but in the near objective, in the near objective is the creation of instability in all the regions, including in Pakistan. So this is a point, this is a moment really when the governments of India, Pakistan and Afghanistan in particular, and I liked uh, and your, your interview with uh, Hamid Karzai was very good indeed, Arnab. Uh, this, the three governments in particular and all the other governments must really work together against the coming, against the coming war because that war is going to be extremely dangerous for the region, it is going to be very dangerous for us but it is also going to be, I was just reading a, a book uh, just now on Karachi and if you think that the role of terrorists is confined to the border areas or to certain parts of <coughs> Pakistan and this book, you know, there's 71, 71, whatever the zones of Karachi now where the Taliban, the violent Taliban has a very, very substantive presence. This is the level of the infiltration into Pakistani space that has taken place by the terrorist movements. And we all know what Hafiz Said is doing. We all know what the ilk is doing. We all know that they want to change within Pakistan and they want to turn Pakistan into a citadel which will foment terrorism into all regions. Actually, I believe that this will extend even into China and to Xinjiang. So we are on the edge of a dangerous few years and this, for God's sake, is a time when we should leave the rhetoric of anger aside and work towards a cooperation between nations in all self-interest. In self-interest, we must cooperate and work together. In Pakistan's interest. In Pakistan's interest, if I may add. Yes, absolutely. If I may add, in Pakistan's interest. And yes, therefore, my next interest. question goes to Javed Hussain and Colonel Shafkat Saeed. Let's get our guests from Pakistan in first. Seshad Richari joining the panel and GD Bakshi oh, no. is also on the panel. But tonight, let's hear from the Pakistani guests first. And the point being made here... Oh, no. uh, uh, Colonel Shafkat Saeed and, uh, and Javed Hussain, either of you or both of you, I'd like you to respond to that. MJ Akbar says, do not get on the oh, defensive. No, that Narendra Modi told Nawaz Sharif that please do not continue not to have any action against Hafiz Saeed and the masterminds of 2611. It is in your interest right now to take Narendra Modi's message as a message of goodwill and not be reactionary to the message because it came from the new Indian Prime Minister. May I get your response, please, from our guests in Islamabad and Lahore? Yes, I think Javed Hussain first. Yes, I think uh, the first point that I would like to make is that when Mr. Nawaz Sharif received invitation from Mr. Narendra Modi 
for visiting New Delhi, there were two opinions in Pakistan. One was in favor of his going there in the interest of peace and development of the region and in the hope that Mr. Narendra Modi would be able to rise above his past record and his uh, past uh, and his election rhetoric. The other opinion was that he uh, will not be able to do so, that he will be tied down and held back by his past record, his convic past conviction and his election uh, rhetoric and therefore uh, Mr. Nawaz Sharif should not go. Now, uh, there were two opinions. Mr. Nawaz Sharif took a risk by accepting the invitation and going to New Delhi in the hope that Mr. Narendra Modi would be able to rise above these uh, past uh, his uh, uh, considerations rise above and what? that he would be able to have a visionary his past record of which you are very well aware, his, his election rhetoric, his uh, past uh, convictions that he has expressed this from time to time This is not election rhetoric. He is actually decades. speaking the voice no, of the entire finish. people let of India finish. on 26-11. There is no political finish. divide in India on 26-11, sir. Let me finish. Let me finish. There, these were the two opinions. Mr. Nawaz Sharif took the risk and he, ex he went to New Delhi in the hope and in the expectation that in the interest of regional peace and development, Mr. Narendra Modi would be able to rise above his past uh, record and petty considerations. Unfortunately, I think what I have seen and heard today what is... What is the petty consideration Mr. about 26-11? You have not acted against the 26-11 plotters. I'm sorry. No, no, ja Mr. You, Javed Hussain, I'd like to... Just, have, just a minute, sir. Been, I, I, I question been, the use of been, the word petty. What is... No, no, sir, one second. Sir, just a minute. Mr. I will, Javed Hussain, allow you me to is, co I will question you on this. Has, and Maru wants to come followed, in. Sir, sir, my point you, is... I will tell you... Sir, will you let Mr. No, Mr. Hussain, your country your has yeah, not have, acted against 2611 plotters, one of whom is Hafiz speak, Saeed. You have, you have repeatedly said there is no credible evidence to prosecute him. He is a free man in, in Pakistan and he continues to spew venom on India. All that Na Narendra Listen, Modi has you reminded your you government to... is that you have not taken the action. Now, I don't think there is anything you, petty. I think it is very fundamental. If you have to keep unless, on speaking, unless, and if you will not unless you speak, want, there is unless no you want the Prime Minister say, of India and the Prime Minister of Pakistan to meet and discuss gardening, will you let me speak also, or you want to speak on uh, keep on speaking yourself? No, I just I took objection to what you said. The use of the word petty. That's mm -hmm. all. There's nothing petty about I, what he said. Well, you can, if you invite me to speak, then you have to listen to me, and then after I finish, you can respond. I, I what I'm no, saying no, no, is no, but this, Mr. Javed Hussain, there is Modi nothing petty about is, the massacre by, of 167 Indians. By is, by. What is what was uh, uh, so elevating or edifying about the massacre of 2,000 Muslims in Gujarat? You have forgotten about that. No, I. Who was responsible you for see, that no, massacre? The massacre of Shia. You, you see, you, and then you, 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 uh, the tree you see, you see, I, 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 let me you know, finish. The, the, this, this. If you don't want Sir, to okay, listen, you can finish you your point, but I think we speak. have a right to counter you on this. Why do you us to speak? Well, no, I certainly would like to hear you, but I certainly, Mr. Javed Hussain, if, if, if our Indian panelists want to counter you, they have a right to. Maruf, Maruf Raza wants to counter you. Yes, yes go ahead, please, Maruf. I have also, we have also a right to counter you <laughs> when you are criticizing uh, our Prime Minister in Pakistan. You have no right to do that unless you are prepared to there listen. There is no criticism. Mr. Hussain, Mr. Hussain, Mr. Javed Hussain. Mr. Javed Hussain, Mr. Javed Hussain, first of all, there is nothing petty and the Prime Minister of India has come to power. The, the, Prime Minister, the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, has come to power on the back of an unprecedented mandate in a historic election in this country. So I request you, sir, please show the same respect. I have said nothing disrespectful about your Prime Minister, but I, you do not have a right I to insult the office I, of the Prime Minister of India I, when, when I am simply raising the points that he has put before well, your same, Prime Minister. If Nawaz Sharif found those issues same, petty, he would have said so. He Honor. did not. The same Maruf. applies to you when you are talking about Pakistan. You cannot insult no. Pakistan and the uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan. Uh, Mr. Hussain, Mr. Hussain. I said about your Prime Minister. Mr. Hussain. Maruf. Mr. Hussain. This is no way to conduct Mr. an interview. Mr. Hussain, uh, let me. So that's all right. Mr. Hussain, please. That's the way Ma we Maruf, do it. Maruf is Mr. responding. Hussain.
Maruf, listen to the other side, you. Mr. Hussain. Mr. Hussain, we've you patiently like heard you. Yes. Now, now please hear, please hear another point of view. No, I am not. Please hear another point of view. Let me uh, please hear another point of view. Then, do you, have, you have not let me okay. finish. The point I want okay. to make is that Mr. Uh, Narendra Modi. Uh, well, well, the whole program, Mr. Hussain, the, Mr. Hussain, the whole program is not going to be dedicated to your speech. Well, I am not prepared to listen to you uh, this kind of thing when you so don't let me speak. So please listen to others. We've you heard keep you. On interrupting. We've heard you. Keep Just on now, to, Mr. Hussain. Listen to him, sir. We'll keep an open debate after that. I, Mr. Hussain. You did Mr. Not Hussain. Finish. Mr. Hussain, please. We've got your Why point. You we've got us? your point. You you've got to be to brief, and you've no, got you to be precise. I want it. Please, please hear. I please want to hear the me. other point of view. Please hear the, Mr. No, Hussain. I want to say precisely that Mr. I'm, Modi I'm, what has I'm trying not to say is, I prove to be a Mr. Hussain. Please hear me out today. Mr. Hussain, will you stop yes. interrupting? Mr. Hussain, stop interrupting, and please hear the other person out. We've heard your rhetoric. Forget it. What I'm saying is, let's no, take it up from it. where Mr. Ab M.J. Akbar has given us this big picture. Mr. Akbar has rightly brought out that moderates, I still see you as a moderate. I still see M. Marshal Abid Rao as a moderate. But moderates like you have begun to secede space. You are giving space away to the Hafiz Sayyids of the world. The United States doesn't declare somebody a terrorist with a bounty on his head. Unless the person's track record is serious concern to the world and the international community. I mean, there are a number of guys walking around with AK-47s, but they not, don't have an American bounty on their head. The second point to understand is that what we in India see as mainstream in Pakistan, which are people like you, you are gradually being marginalized and the fringe of this uh, people like Hafiz Saeed have begun to dominate your society. Because in every society history has shown, when you use terror elements as proxy elements to further a foreign policy agenda, eventually they dig in their heels and they begin to bite the hand that feed them. Now you keep talking about Kashmir, you keep talking about Mr. Modi having condoned the massacres. Please ask yourself a little question, look into the mirror. What about the massacres of other Muslim groups in Pakistan, which is a regular occurrence? What about Karachi, where 8 to 12 okay. bodies Ma lie bullet-ridden every day? I don't say it, the economist says it. So, please understand, the point we are making is that unless you address the issue of terrorism within, you will continue to wallow in it, and you'll take the whole region with you. And, and that and is, may I, is a concern. Nobody, may I, I think Maru, Mr. Nawaz Sharif, no, no, may I, may I, may I, in fact, showed great sagacity. Mr. Nawaz Sharif, uh, Mr. Nawaz Sharif showed great courage to Ma come Maru, to India. let's get Shabdat Sahid in. to him. But what next? Can you give us a route, can you give us a route chart? You, you see, yes, you see, and, and one minute, Maruf. Maruf, and by the way, before I take the discussion forward with Sashadri Chari and Jidi Bakshi joining in, I want to make one point to our guests in Pakistan, especially Colonel Shafkat Saeed. You see, Colonel Shafkat Saeed, I want to go back to how MJ Akbar began the debate as I get you in. MJ Akbar said today, this is a common threat that we all face. The threat from radicalization, fundamentalists, terror groups, quasi self-appointed military establishments. This threat is a common threat. It is a threat to the people of Afghanistan, the people of Pakistan, and the people of India. And, 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 I, and, I, I agree and, with you if uh, yes, you want to repeat and, the question. I, I agree with you if you want I, I, to repeat the You don't need to repeat the question. No, it's the same repeat. is the question I, just, I want to reply it. Yeah, no, no, I just Do want, you want to my comment one small you want thing with your you? permission, Colonel Shafkat Sai. No, no, one small thing. I want to, I want to play the... What, this is what Nawaz Sharif said. Nawaz Sharif had said, if I become Prime Minister, Mr. I will Nawaz make Sharif. sure that Pakistani soil is never used against India. He said this in his election speech, yes, rallies. We don't want to use our soil for against anybody. What to talk of India? Whatever Mr. Nawaz Sharif said, he said correctly. But I want to bring out two, three things. Mr. Modi won with great majority. That was an internal affair. Once it comes to international affair, he is to tackle Pakistan. And if he starts with the tone that he has started now, that is that he has placed his five demands on something which dates back to 2008. We are not going forward. 
If you want to go forward, you have to listen to Pakistan also. We have a great problem because of Indian construction of dams. At the same time, we are facing a lot of trouble from Afghanistan. The whole insurgency and whole problem that is Pakistan facing at the moment in war on terror from the north to south till Karachi, it is all being financed and backed what we feel from Afghanistan by India through Afghans. Now these questions also have to be answered. I think this was the first meeting, and in this meeting we need to go forward. Order, order, if you go I, back I to 2008, we can go back to 1971. We can go back to 1983. So we need to go forward. No, no, and international affairs. What, what I did not like once you were calling my prime minister as instead of Mr. Nawaz Sharif, Nawaz Sharif, Nawaz Sharif. He is prime minister of Pakistan, the prime minister of Pakistan, or Mr. Nawaz Sharif. I would never like to call Mr. Modi. Narendra Modi. I call him Mr. Narendra Modi or Modi Saab. Similarly, Nawaz Sharif is so don't go Mr. By Nawaz Sharif, the Prime Minister of Pakistan. So, Mr. Yes. So, I you repeat. Anger, I, I repeat to you, Colonel Shavkat Saeed. Uh, no, no. I repeat to you. I repeat to you that Mr. Nawaz Sharif, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, had said that we don't <coughs> want our territory to be used Good. for terrorist activities. Good. And they, and three days back, our consulate got attacked in Herat. And everybody knows who was behind it. Your military establishment. I spoke to Hamid Karzai and earlier exactly today, who told me that Lashkar e Toiba, headed by Hafiz Saeed, Ar Arnab, can you give me organized one minute? that attack. Can you, uh, Arnab, can just you give me one minute? I want, I want MJ Akbar to respond. So, uh, 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 Rao, because I have limited time with MJ Akbar, let me get him to respond. We are going to take this discussion <laughs> forward. MJ Akbar, would you? I saw you uh, nodding your head. That's what I'm there saying. Uh, okay. With disappointment. With, you know, with the, not, I don't, I don't I, know yes, MJ Akbar. What was so, what was so incriminating? Yes. Yes, MJ. Arnab, can I speak? May I please have a point? Arnab, may I please make my point? Since you asked me. Arnab, can I add? Let MJ Akbar complete, gentlemen. Gentlemen, let MJ Akbar Arnab? complete, and then we are going to continue yeah. the debate. MJ Akbar, please. You know, Arnab, I have heard. I've, I've heard many things uh, in this uh, age-old debate between India and Pakistan. I mean, not all of them have uh, any sort of element of truth in it. But one of the most ridiculous, absolutely the most ridiculous things that I have ever heard is this accusation that India is financing the Taliban in Afghanistan. I mean, is everybody completely bizarre and mad? No. That India should finance no, the biggest enemies of India? No, I did not I mean, say that. I mean, this is stupid. You, this no, is I did stupid. not say that. I'm sorry to say, sir, this is very stupid. And please do not assume that the Indian establishment or the Indian government is, uh, you may disagree with it, that's all right, but we are not stupid. Yeah. So please don't say that. I mean, let us really use this opportunity of you have a recently new government. Do you want to rake up the past? Let me just tell you, sir, that, you know, we are talking of one right of which there has been full judicial accountability. And in that judicial accountability, nobody has been able okay. to lay a finger on a president. I have a Prime question Minister. for you, mister. And let me now continue. I have a there question are, for you, mister. thousands of Pakistanis. Muslims who are being killed, you know, every week and every year, and there is absolutely no accountability and no judicial accountability. But for God's sake, you know, we don't want to discuss the duplicity of a Kargil, Kargil and so on and so forth. Let us use this opportunity. We are, as I said, on the brink of a time of 2015 when NATO is going to vacate. There are serious problems ahead, sir. For your country, there are Arnab. serious problems ahead for our region as a whole. There are serious problems ahead for Afghanistan. Please let Arnab. us find the voice of sanity in this madness. Let us find a way of working together. And I said, let three national interests, three national interests find some convergence so that we can move forward. First, Arnab. let us identify the common enemy. And no, no, then I, move I think, I I think tell you MJ, MJ thanks. No, no, MJ, uh, MJ, thanks. By the way, I welcome Arnab. Dr. Farid Ahmad Malik, Seshadri Chari, Jini Bakshi. Let, them, let me get them in. Let me get them in. Colonel Shafkat Saeed, please understand one thing. I, I feel today that you're overreacting. I want With to respect answer your question. To you and I have not finished. You did not hear me. No, no, I'm not referring to Rao Saab. Sir, I asked I you the question about Nawaz Sharif's what promise. I wanted to say. 
Or, that was my observation. I never wanted you to give, uh, keep me quiet and uh, leave me. I want to add to this. I am on your program. Arnab, can you hear me? Go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. Please do speak. Okay. Our other panelists also waiting. That but the requirement so, of the region ahead. is peace. The requirement of this region, Pakistan and India, is peace. Mr. Nawaz Sharif and Mr. Modi okay. has a chance of life to get themselves high on the pedestal in history by bringing peace to the region. Sir, and the peace would not come if sir, they keep sir, beating about the bush sorry, on old issues. They need to move forward. They must address each other's concerns. It is not that being a big brother or big neighbor, you can force your concern on us. You can put five points in front of us. Once you show sir, your concerns, I, I want please to say this. ask Mr. Yeah, Nawaz Sharif. No, 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 sir. sir, sir Shafkat Said. Shafkat Said, our guests, in, our guests in New Delhi want to respond. And by the way, by the way, no, no, let me say one thing to you, sir. One, one minute. The gentleman who just spoke before you, who you called Mr. Is, 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 is with, with respect, his name is Mr. M. J. Akbar. And you will see more of him in the days ahead as a BJP spokesperson. By the way, you know, the point now is, I feel, Seshadri Chari and G.D. Bakshi, I feel today that actually Narendra Modi has written the script for the peace process with Pakistan. Give us the voice samples, <coughs> act on 2611, stop using uh, you know, your country as a base of terror. And the fourth and very simple point is, move on the 2611 trial. I think it's very fundamental. Mr. Why are our guests from Pakistan responding in the way that they are? Jini Bakshi and Jadri Chari. Yes, please. Jini Bakshi. You know, you know, sir, Jini Bakshi, please. I would kindly, kindly, Colonel Saab, thoda sa, aap mujhe bhi mauka dijiye. No, no, dekhe, dekhe, please, Colonel. Can I just put it over? Yes. Arnab Saab, Arnab Saab, bol rahe ho, aap bol rahe ho. Janab, main to chup bata ho, bilkul. Main baat karna shuru karta ho, aap mujhe khamosh kar dete hai. Aap mujhe ek minut de dijiye, phir aap aapki sun lenge. Acha, dekhe saab, aisa hai. Aap kara time aapka hai, bhai, mujhe aapki bula hai. Any country, aisa, okay. Koi bhi, any country, the primary duty of the state is to preserve the life and liberty of its citizens. Yeah. Any country has to preserve the life and liberty of its citizens. And may I give you some statistics. In 1980, the ISI started interfering in Punjab. 21,000 Indian citizens were killed yeah, again, in that state. Please, for God's sake, I don't want to go back. Let him, yeah, complete. Let him complete. Let him complete. He heard you. I didn't. I again, didn't he's talking about the past. I, I don't want to do that. I'm a peace student. I don't want to do that. No, no, please, I'm so busy, na? आप हमारी तकरीर भी सुनिए आप हमारी तकरीर भी सुन लीजिए हम आपकी सुनेंगे अच्छा देखिए साहब 21000 इंडियन सिटीजंस वर किल्ड इन पंजाब 42000 इनोसेंट इंडियन वुमेन एंड चिल्ड्रन एंड इनोसेंट ओल्ड मेन इंक्लूसिव हैव बीन किल्ड इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर बिकॉज़ ऑफ आईएसआई स्पॉन्सर्ड टेररिज्म 15000 प्लस हैव बीन किल्ड इन द सिटीज ऑफ इंडिया and I say, Dekhi sahab, aap bhi sipahi hai, mein bhi sipahi hu. You are a soldier, I am a soldier. We are paid to fight. And if we have to fight, let us fight. Let's keep the women and children out. Well said, well said. Spor exploding IDs in the, in the cities. Very good. You kill innocent women and children. I agree with Ye you. Ye kya ladai ka tariqa hai sahab. Quran Sharif mein saaf likha hai. Jihad mein, aurto ki jaan, bachcho ki jaan, budo ki jaan baksh di jai. और ये जो तरीका आपने चुना है ये लड़ाई का तरीका ये तो आप पहला बार तो औरतें बच्चों और बूढ़ों पे कर रहे हैं ये कौन सा तरीका है शेषाद्री शेषाद्री चारी अभी द्राउ सेड इट द बिगिनिंग आई एम सॉरी टू कीप यू वेटिंग फॉर सो लॉन्ग एंड बाय द वे आर नेक्स्ट गेस्ट इज शेषाद्री चारी एक मिनट सुन लीजिए जो भारत में जो पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू है सुन लीजिए कर्नल साहब Air Vice Marshal Abhid Rao, please listen tonight. By the way, Shashadri Chari is convener of the BJP's Foreign Affairs cell. I think. I think, and, and Farid Malik, welcome. I think he's one of those people who, along with MJ Akbar, will have a role in communicating and shaping the government's point of view on Pakistan. No, no, now you're going to pass. Two minutes, give me two minutes. Sashadri Chari, Abid Rao said at the start of the discussion that this is what, this is what Modi should not have done. One minute. This is what Modi should not have done. We did not expect this. Almost in an accusatory tone, he said he has spoiled the atmospherics by putting these issues before Nawaz Sharif. Is there anything unusual in what Mr. Modi has said or articulated today in his meetings, what we hear? You know, when this whole idea of uh, inviting the SARC leaders were, uh, was mooted, <coughs> and uh, Mr. Narendra Modi very uh, 
in all his sincerity, he took up this issue. <clears throat> we don't want to make this visit Pakistan-centric. We don't want to conduct our foreign affairs also from the template of being Pakistan-centric. This entire region has certain potentials. The region has certain problems also. We don't want to go back to 47. <clears throat> we don't want to remain Pakistan of what they did in 1971 and what we did to them in 1971. But the last decade cannot be forgotten. <clears throat> Two of the most important terror attacks, the most heinous ones, That's the attack on Indian parliament and the attack in Mumbai. 26 these two are too serious a matter to be erased from the public memory on, in this country. It's too serious. Okay. So, I think Pakistan has to answer somewhere. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has okay. taken a very bold step by sidestepping their own army. Whatever may be the quid pro quo, the army wants to use Musharraf as a quid pro quo probably. Because the army would never like its own former general and the chief to be paraded in the court in this manner. Yeah. So probably there is a quid pro quo to make Musharraf get out and give him a decent exit route. Whatever it is, it is, it is their internal, internal problem. Matter. We are not worried about it. But Nawaz Sharif has sent a very strong signal to the Pakistani army. Whether he will be able to keep it that way keep them under control is another issue. What India expects in the minimum is to act on the promises that they made on the terror front. Precisely. Two, number one, bring to books all those who were involved in the earlier terror acts. Two, stop all further terror activities in your country, which according to you is in your own interest. Which was your own promise. Absolutely. The it was their promise and it is there in India. So why then this reaction? But as far as radicalization element is concerned, I strongly refute this idea that radicalization is a common problem. It is not. Radicalization of the army, fundamentalism is a unique problem to, Af to Pakistan. In fact, it is not even an issue with, say, Bhutan, Nepal, Agreed. or any other country. No, no, what I said was the fear of fundamentalism and radicalism spreading from <coughs> Pakistan and affecting... Which is a serious ways, issue, Afghanistan which is a serious concern. issue, which is also yeah. affecting India-Afghanistan relationship. Agreed. And therefore, so, we are more interested and more serious yeah. in Afghanistan, Pakistan, India working yeah. together in the interest, in the best interest of Pakistan, the economic interest. And that why? is why, that is why the statement put out by the MEA specifically says, it quotes Mr. Narendra Modi as saying that the economic issues can take off from today. Pakistan. Nawaz, Mr. Nawaz Sharif can go back to Islamabad and tomorrow he can make an announcement on the M MFN status. He is free to do that. That will be a good beginning for him. We are not expecting, expecting him to dismantle the terror mechanism day after tomorrow. But at least on trade he can do something. Precisely. I, 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 no, and, but, and but, but you know uh, what really has been the problem and Dr. Farid Ahmad Malik. No. no, I just want to get Dr. Farid Ahmad Malik. After this I am opening up. After that Colonel Shafkat Said, we are opening up the debate. This was okay, go ahead. One last minute to you. Uh, Farid minute. Ahmad Malik after one, that. One minute to me also. Okay. Uh, one can. minute. Abhi Farid Malik, sir, ten so minutes. Minute minute yes, Ab Abid Rao, I will. Irshad, Irshad. I just need one minute. I just need one minute. Hmm. One minute. Okay, since one you are minute. both being so polite to each other from uh, from Islamabad and Lahore, let me say, uh, let, let Abid Rao go first, please. Abid Rao, yes. Okay, uh, Arnab, I never Arnab, said Arnab. that Mr. Narendra Modi should have only done this. I said that besides this, what are Pakistan's concerns? You should have also mentioned about that. Uh, some of your media were using the problem K. What is K? I mean, are you in a state of denial? I mean, unless you go for overall solution, overall, uh, you know, uh, dialogue, things will not change. What Mr. M.J. Akbar has said, I really respect his opinion. He is a very seasoned journalist. I have read his book, Tinderbox, also. And uh, I tend to agree with most of the things what he has said. But then Pakistan should not be held on a bully, you know, uh, dialogue that Pakistan should do this, should do this and be accountable for not doing something. You recall after 26-11 attacks, Pakistani government kept requesting Indian government to be a partner in joint investigation. Indian arrogance and hegemonistic you know, attitude 
refused to share Sir, any such information. Please, let please. Me. No, no, no. This is, oh, this is, now. this is where. No, no. no this no, is no. where I will uh, not accept Mr. what you are saying. Abhijit Rao, I am sorry. Well, I am sorry, Abhijit Rao. No, I am sorry, Abhijit Rao. There, I on that I don't agree with you. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. I will not agree with you because I'll tell you the facts. You start. Sir, I'll tell you the facts on 2611. The fact on. I am also. I am telling you what I know. Sir, the facts on. You must be knowing more than me. Sir, but let uh, me tell you what is Pakistan globally is known. Not to be used against what India is globally or, uh, known Pakistan is that one minute, uh, Abid Rao, Abid Rao, I will now state some facts. Yes. I request you on 2611. Yes. On 2611, I request you. I plead to you before I go across to our next guest from Pakistan. Please hear me. We, the your, you started your 2611 trial in 2009, right? Five years, then the trial hasn't concluded. Whereas in India, the case is concluded even after Kasab was asked and allowed to exercise all his legal options. I would like to remind you that under Section 19.7 of the Pakistan Anti-Terrorism Act, the speedy trial of the accused is mandatory. You are violating your own your own rule book on the matter. You appointed a judge who was just about to retire to head the 26/11 trial when it first commenced in March 2009, sir. Let me tell you that's a fact. That is indicative of your lack of well, seriousness. I, I don't Since know then, so the judge in this case has been changed more than been one minute. Has been, I haven't finished. Sir, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Since then, you've changed your judges in this case more than five times. Your prosecution lawyers in this case, sir. Your prosecution lawyers themselves are saying they are facing threats from the Jamaat ud Dawa, which is a polite name for the Lashkar e Toiba, for daring to take up the case. Your in-camera trial, where is it proceeding? Why is the media not allowed to see the judicial system at work themselves? Why is there such a secrecy over this trial? It adds to the belief that this is not a trial; this is a charade. And my question today. And I put that question to Dr. Farid Ahmed Malik: Is that when Narendra Modi tells Nawaz Sharif that please act on it, then all the guests from Pakistan feel he has exceeded his brief? Why? He has done the basic thing. Manmohan Singh should have made the same point more effectively when he had the opportunity to. Dr. Dr. Malik, what do you think? I've I've repeatedly I'm covered this question. I'm the point is. Terrorism is a serious issue. It is affecting the entire region. Pakistan itself a victim of terrorism. If we keep on uh, harking on on old issues and old wounds, we will not move forward. I believe Pakistan is doing what it can do. We are ourselves a victim of terrorism. We are trying to resolve issues. We have to move forward. Today I read an article by Kuldeep Nayyar. How do you that move forward? Million people feel You're sleep hungry every night in India. 50 million people sleep hungry in 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 Pakistan. 70 million children can't go to school, and there are serious problems, serious issues in this region, and we keep on harping Sir, on old issues. Sir, you can't keep saying we are in issues, trouble. History, no, every historical time, fact. Every time we Let's ask you a question, on. you say we Why are in trouble. Why can't we move on? What I don't move understand on from is what? Why can't yeah, so we move on? Yeah, so, so, no, no, let's. One second, Maruf. No, no, we have to move on. <coughs> you no, move on. You move on from 2611 to Herat. <coughs> Which is yesterday, day before yesterday. Move on from no, today. You, you said don't move go back in the past. Today. Okay, fine. But we are telling you, Herat is not the past. Today. It is the present. Try to resolve the issues. Thing, and the second thing, please, please, one minute, listen to me. The second thing is that you have a narrative of victimhood. That we are the we victims are the of terrorism. Yeah. You see, the fact is. You raise those terrorist tanzims. आपने सांपों को पाला, दूध पिलाया। आज आपको काट रहे हैं और आप कह रहे हैं कि सांप हमें सांप काट रहे हैं। अरे सांप आपने खड़े किए। This narrative of victimhood, I'm sorry, does not is not convincing. It it will not wash. आप सांपों को दूध पिलाए। ये देखिए, आप सांपों को दूध पिलाए तो क्या होगा सांप? Super power ने बनाया था। वो दुनिया की सुपर पावर ने बनाया था हमने नहीं बनाया था बनाया था ना साहब तो छोटे प्लेयर हैं नहीं नहीं हम छोटे प्लेयर हैं एक एक मिनट इसका इस सारी सारी जो बातचीत हो रही है सारी नो नो बात सुन ली डॉक्टर मलिक साहब सिंपल ये बात है द एंटायर इश्यू कैन बी सॉल्व यू गिव अस द वॉइस सैंपल्स ऑफ जकियूर रहमान लखवी वी वांट द वॉइस सैंपल्स ऑफ जकियूर रहमान लखवी दैट्स ऑल As per reports, the voice samples of two of the arrested terrorists match with the voice samples that have been sent to Pakistan by the Indian authorities. Why do you want to protect Zakir Rahman Lakhvi? Give us the voice samples. That's what Modi has said. Manmohan Singh should have said this a long time back. Say Shadri Chand. No, what, what's making our <coughs> guests from Pakistan nervous? No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make another Honor. point. Honor. I think, I think we should Honor. tell the pa Pakistani guests. I really appreciate, I really appreciate, Mr. Nawaz Sharif. 
for having taken the bold step to come here. Agreed. And let him go back and tell his Pakistani guests, tell, tell, tell his Pakistani colleagues and friends that, look, I have promised, I think we must deliver on the terror issue. Absolutely. I, why, do, why, not, why not the Pakistani guests accept? That there there are fault lines within the Pakistani let's establishment. Them. There let's are fault them. lines, and yes. and we are not saying there should not be fault lines. If there are fault lines, are fault try and come out and say sides. that yes, these things the should respond. You respond. There are hawks on both sides. Why don't you? Mister, why don't we you are not we are not hawks. denying any fault there line on, on our side, sides. but we are talking about your fault lines. Of course, there don't are fault lines. Them. Don't deny them. Don't deny them. We have complaints in Balochistan. We have given you evidence in Balochistan. That's all. Make a serious attempt. So then, make so a serious and sincere attempt. No, no, but then why is... Why do you fault line? Why do you Highlighting the hawks. The cons are fault line. I don't understand that. Why don't we move forward? Their fault lies so on both How sides. do you move forward? How do you move forward? I, I, I put to you... One second. One, I put to you, Dr. Dr. Farid Ahmad Malik. Dr. Farid Ahmad Malik, you're a senior leader of the Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf. I have great personal regard for you. And you are certainly not an unreasonable person. I'm telling you the way to move on is to solve 2611, give us the voice sample, restrain Hafiz Saeed, and fulfill your own country's promise made repeatedly by Musharraf <coughs> and by Nawaz Sharif not to allow its country, to, that, your that, country that, to become that, a base for terror globally. No, okay. that's, no, no, that, let, no, let me give you... Let sir, me give that's you a reasonable point of view. We can resolve, we can, we can resolve Seachin, we can resolve Sir Creek, we can resolve Khokrabad. These are all confidence building measures which can be done tomorrow. It can be done tomorrow. There, there are no problems here. It's a low so it's not this before that. <laughs> it's not this before that. It's not. No, no. Watch it. Watch it. I let Maruf come in. Maruf. It is. It is very simple. I think everything has been agreed on all these three uh, issues. Ornav, I just Why want to remind. Why can't forward uh, on them? Sir, sir, please, please, please hear me, sir. Sir, please hear me, sir. I just want to remind all our distinguished Pakistani guests. You know, this issue of uh, Baluchistan keeps coming up. I am quoting from distinguished writers in Pakistan, Akbar S. Ahmed and Murtaza Razvi on his book on Pakistan and on his book on Musharraf. A few points, sir, for your, for your consideration. One, isn't it true that Musharraf decided to eliminate Nawab Bukti and he thought the Baluchi problem would be completely over, for which he is now facing all sorts of charges? Isn't it true that the port of Gwadar built in Baluchistan has no Baluchi labor that is used, but you get Punjabi labor and therefore the Baluchis feel alienated in their own state. Isn't it true that bulk of Baluchi oil from the Sui gas fields, etc., goes to Punjab and doesn't get used by the Baluchis? Isn't it true that the area of Baluchistan where you claim that India is involved is in the center of Pakistan and your military and intelligence agencies must be really incompetent that a handful of Indian raw agents can come in the middle of Pakistan undetected with caravans of weapon systems and create confusion there and you people have not been able to stall them between the Afghan border, the Durand line and Baluchistan. Look at Akbar Ahmed's book, The Thistle and the Dawn. He doesn't make a single mention of how the Baluch problem spun out of hand and about what India could have okay, done have or has done. There's no mention of the word India. I mean, Murtazara. So, there is one. The Maruf, second thing the I want to tell our Pakistani guests, they keep bringing up this Kashmir issue. Sir, please hear me. 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 No, they keep talking about Kashmir. They keep talking about Kashmir. Bring the UN resolution. $30,000, $19,000, $40,000. Put in that requirement and the Kashmir issue will get solved. But I am amazed at the amount of you, you have to fulfill you've done that requirement of the UN Which not is not us. true. Please leave. Which you is know, not true. Stand, it's like I a have record. Please, you people just Mushan keep talking about Kashmir, Kashmir, yeah, Kashmir. Your work is not correct. I mean, quite Sir, frankly, you what do you have to give to the Kashmir? Balochi labor is working on the visiting, the visiting Prime Minister of Pakistan did not mention yes, Kashmir. Yes, don't sir, you are, yes, sir. Your, your, your Prime Minister did not mention well, Kashmir. Just a minute. One minute. One minute. One, just a, there's an important point I want to mention here. You, you call them that these are written by Indian agents. Is Akbar Ahmed an Indian agent? Sir, I... Anyway, one second. An important I'm point Seshadri Chari is raising saying, here. Yes, Seshadri Chari. I'm saying there are fault lines. Seshadri Chari. I'm saying there no. are fault lines on both sides. No. And let's not, let's not expand the fault lines. Let's look ahead. Let's look at the doves. No, please. Let's look at the positives. Let's look ahead. I mean, Move away from negative. Talking. 
No, please, please appreciate. Please, please appreciate yes, one ji. thing. Siyaji. Your visiting Sir, prime minister, Siyaji. your prime minister of your Pokhanabar. country also did not mention Kashmir. I don't understand why do you want to bring in to that, course, that particular issue into this narrative. We never spoke Kashmir at all. Kashmir is not an issue between the Prime Minister of India and Prime Minister of Pakistan yesterday. Today. It was not there. Your Prime Minister did not bring it up. I don't understand and, and, why, and, why the and, political and with entity... Respect, with respect to also Colonel Shafkat Saeed, I specifically want to tell him one thing. And to you, Abid Rao and Farid Ahmad Malik, you keep raising Kashmir. Just think tonight. Just I want one simple thought. I'm not even quoting any author. I'm simply asking you, you go back and ask yourself today why your country is burning. Why your country is, is, is being torn apart by, by people. It's because of terrorism. It is not because of Kashmir. Yes, that's true. You can. That's it's true. it's agree, because agree. of terrorism. I, I, I agree with you. you. Your, 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 country, your country is in the situation that is in, not because of Kashmir. That, that is not, not because but because of, of terrorism. Where did it come that's from? It, that's where did it come from? Kashmir is a major issue in this No, no, watch, watch. Unless watch, Kashmir let, is resolved. Kashmir is a fundamental issue of this Sir, so this Kashmir obsession, <laughs> this Kashmir obsession, I want so Colonel Shafkat say this UN Kashmir obsession. Please read the UN resolution. It is going to hurt you. UN resolution is on the internet. Anyway, I don't you want to get into your, your commitments. We will the UN and withdraw the Colonel Shafkat say it. Colonel Shafkat say this saying something. Yes, sir. I said you want to hear me all this, I Go can ahead. do that at my home. Don't make me sit in front of the camera and then hear you. If you want to hear me, please hear me. If you keep talking like this, if you keep beating about the old issues, forget about the peace. Very senior people who, who call my comments as very stupid and nonsense, I want to remind them I did not talk of India financing Afghan Taliban. I was talking of the things which are clear like broad daylight that India is behind everything that is happening in Pakistan. From lack of water in the rivers, construction of illegal much. dams, to the economic hegemony of India, and the trouble in Balochistan, Khyber uh, Bukhtunkhwa, and Karachi. Let's forget about all these things if you want to go forward. Peace will not come if you keep your grievances. For God's sake, Find somebody who can talk and forward. think of Absolutely. peace. You all it's, are talking about what, 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 what you are going to keep the city at its place. I think. No, I, I think I'm going to go back to MJ. One second. I'm going to go back to MJ and 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 I. One second. Watch. We will talk about, about Afghanistan. We are going to talk about Afghanistan. But before before I go to the break, no no. Before I go to the break. Before I go to the break, I want to ask MJ Akbar just one question. Can Shafkat Sahab one minute. Shafkat sir, one minute. Just one minute. We can have different views. I don't have to agree with you. You don't have to agree with me. Fine. No, so one to me. simple point. Well, you started MJ. MJ Akbar. MJ. Sir, let's be real, sir. I said your country is being torn apart because of please terror, not Kashmir. I'm here since last one hour. You are not listening to me. Please listen to me. Sir, I'm listening to you, MJ Akbar hasn't even spoken, he's also listening to you. You don't like the show, don't come on the show. You don't like the show, don't come on the show. You're telling me this thing? One second, Maruf. I did not come. No, no, one second. One yes. second. Colonel Shafkat Saeed, one second, Maruf and Colonel Shafkat Saeed. I, I respect both of you, you all have your views. Yes, you were invited. No, no, you were invited. Okay. Colonel Shafkat Saeed, just a minute. If you want peace, if you want peace, Let's talk of peace and please learn how peace is made. Peace is made by only discussing pros, not cons. If you keep discussing cons, forget about peace. No. We sir, have a longer list than you. Sir, sir I a disagree. Country, what you did was sir. all big. And what we did, being a small country, they were small sir, as we compared don't. to what you did. So forget sir, about we the don't. cons. No, don't no, discuss sir, controversies. Sir, we... Right? Okay, now, let's now one second. You don't want let's us to discuss controversies. I, I, okay, fine. One second, Colonel Shabkat said, I go back to MJ Akbar. There is an opportunity, you said, MJ Akbar. But the opportunity has to be built upon some realism. Hasn't it? Some amount of realism. And your realism is only controversy. 
Mr. Akbar, your realism cannot be not controversy, sir. How many interests for peace? 2611 is not a controversy. 2611 happened. It is a con. Yes, MJ. It is a con. We have problems no. in. Uh, no, it's not a controversy. It was a massacre carried out by Pakistanis, backed by the Pakistani army on our soil. It is not a controversy. Please. It was a massacre. And you have to own up to it. MJ Akbar, please. MJ Akbar, please. It don't call 2611 a controversy. MJ Akbar, please. No, it's not a controversy. Arnab. It is a controversy, you know, Arnab. Let me tell you, what is technical support if division? Realism can come from can many MJ Akbar can speak, sir. What he heard you. You can speak to him. आप मुझे बताइए कि वी के दो मिनट सुन तो लीजिए बनाया था जनरल भाटिया ने आप 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 जरा एमजे अकबर की बात तो सुन लीजिए शफकत साहब आप सुन तो लीजिए दो मिनट प्लीज आप उनसे सिर्फ यह पूछ लीजिए कि टीएसडी से क्या बनता है और उसने क्या किया था ठीक है आप आपकी बात सुनिए अभी उनकी बात सुनिए हां if experience does not teach us realism, no amount of theory and no amount of talk can teach us realism. You know, uh, I'm really always a bit surprised at my Pakistani friends, particularly who feel that they have to defend some particular line, being unable to find out the difference. You have talked of fault lines in the connection of uh, terrorism. Let me just tell you one thing, Arnab, that the demand for Hafiz Saeed is the demand for justice. We want justice. We want justice for a crime that was played out on television and went into the every home and every heart of every Indian and indeed from across the world. It was not an incident that was conducted in the darkness or in the shadows. I'm very sorry for that. There has never really been such a brazen attack inspired. I mean, yes. there's communication lines that were opened between Bombay, Mumbai and the masters. What, what happened at Samjota and, Express? And, Who and, was and behind the, the Samjota Express massacre? May I, sir, may I? The may inferno I at Samjota Express. When, Who's responsible when for talk, that? When you talk of moving on, I mean, shall we move on from justice? Yes, we have to move on. Let me Let's just say leave one behind more thing. all these issues. We I'm have issues also. Samjota Express is not resolved. Who was behind Samjota Express? Very much inferno. It is impossible for us Akbar sahab, to Arnav, move on. Arnav, I have a serious point here. Just one minute. What we saw, I have just one second. No, no, watch it. I'm going to take this discussion forward. I'm going to take a break, but before that, before that. Arnav, one, 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 one simple point. One simple point to my Pakistani guests. Please, please talk about Mumbai attack, but don't mention Godra. Please, Why Godra is an internal matter of Why this country. Please tell me how many Pakistanis how were killed in Godra. Please tell me how many Pakistanis were killed in Godra. If you have an answer for this, you come for discussions. We have, we have been patiently listening to you. Okay. We have been you, patiently you listening to you. That does not Samjota mean Express. that you can cross all these limits. Sir, you sir, sir, one there is a limit. Sir, one minute. As far as, no, no, one second. I'm putting this on the table. I'm putting Express. this on the table. I second what Shadri Chari has said. I'm taking okay, a break. But as far as the Gujarat riots are concerned, as far as Samjota is concerned, there is a legal process in this country. And that legal process is not a frozen process. That legal process on both Samjota and the Gujarat riots is being followed but you tell us one answer one question how would you feel today if an indian terror group was to carry out a terrorist attack on pakistan innocent pakistanis were to be killed would you sit quiet since that does not happen probably you cannot relate to it sir but peace does not happen in a vacuum if peace is to happen well, it has to happen well, with some real i'm going to come back to the debate on the other side of the break there are complaints in i'm Karachi. coming back to the debate there i'm coming back to the debate Okay, we're just going to go back to the debate and welcoming back our guests from Pakistan. We have uh, Vice Marshal Abid Rao, uh, Colonel Shafkat Saeed, Farid Ahmad Malik, Sishadri Chadi, GD Bakshi, Maruf Raza, MJ Akbar. Welcome back to the debate. Okay, the point, you know, let's not, first of all, to our guests from Pakistan, don't, don't try and digress the issue. We are talking here about the points that have been put before Nawaz Sharif, the points that matter in our bilateral relationship. Let's restrict ourselves on that. Okay. Have we agreed on that? 
Okay, so Avice Marshall Rao, that therefore is the starting point. So don't digress by raising Samjota and other cases. Though I can clearly tell you that unlike Pakistan, we are not in we are not in denial about Samjota. And uh, you know, if, if, even if it had been politically inconvenient, those are not issues which we look at. Tell us, are we to expect nothing okay. in terms of a response from Pakistan on these four points? Because based upon your response, the Modi government will decide what to do next in the India-Pakistan relationship. Now, again, you have put this question Who with a threatening tone, question? that if this is not done, Modi government will do this or that. Look, Anab, uh, let me tell you that by uh, both the Prime Ministers have also agreed on one more thing, that allegations and counter-allegations do not help in moving forward. So, please keep that in mind. And uh, the uh, second Absolutely. thing my Prime Minister said yesterday to Barkhadat was that we have so many similarities which can be converted into our strengths rather than weaknesses. So that Prime Minister uh, has also mentioned correct. that people-to-people -people contact will probably improve the thing. But Indian government straight away snaps the visa regime and, you know, the players are sent back, the actors and the singers, they all sent back. So that also needs to be reviewed on the Indian side. And the other things that he had been talking about, Mr. Vajpayee and his old relationship, I've been talking in your program that we are very happy that a BJP government has been formed in India. They'll be able to take a decision without any guilt or such criticism, which Congress couldn't take. Uh, I mean, a lot of my Indian friends, they disagree with that. But, you know, so there are so many pluses which make us move forward. Both Prime Minister so talked of poverty, now, they know, talked I, of betterment I, I of a common sir, man. I don't know if you realize, sir, sir, I don't know if you realize here, but the government in India has changed. And in India, let me tell you, the feeling is horticulture is important, but terror is more important. Exchanging mangoes is important, Definitely. but getting the voice samples I, I is more important. Any, One second, no, cricket, no cricket is important, but, but movement on 2611 is more important. I so mean, can we... And the
tone is not tone. correct. No, what is this wrong? Is not tone. What, we have to move what is wrong with this tone? This is the straightforward tone that is being spoken about to you, sir. You, 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 you move you, forward, creating infernos. Ask you that. Sir, Ask you back to the relatives sir, you who have lost their development. They sir, are in their together. Sir, today, today I feel. Sir, no, no, no. Sir, today, can, can, today, no, no. Can, can, can peace, can peace and economic improvement go together with terror? Please tell me. Murder. In your own country, in your own country. Forget India-Pakistan relations. If you have, if you have terror acts on every day in the streets of Lahore and Karachi, do you think you can make economic progress in your own country? And, and, and you, no, you, it, it, it no, is for you to make. prove to us. But interstate relationship sir, also, also are, requires some other peace measures. Sir, it is, 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 it is for you. We are, we are ourselves victims. Sir, of it is, it is for. You know, I, we are our sir, this doesn't work. If you're a, if you're a victim of terror, one second. If you're, you would no, 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 more. if you're a victim of terror, then please tell me why is Zakir Rahman Lakwi, mastermind of 2611, running his activities from prison? Why is he doing that? He's running his activities from prison. You give us his voice sample. I Let us together fix it. I don't know where you get this information from. Sir, don't. Why, why, sir, why, and why are you still I, I, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll tell you where I get my information <laughs> from. This is an official memo to Hillary yes. Clinton and the National Security Council of the United States that General Kiani refused to direct even the jail authorities to confiscate uh, Zakir Rahman Lakhvi's cell phone. Your Pakistani military is allowing this. The whole world knows. You say no. you're suffering. Do you have the courage to act against no, no. Zakir Rahman Lakhvi? And why do are you see, still protecting I've, I've Daoud Ibrahim, who is an international terrorist? Do, do you? No, no, watch, watch, watch. We'll, we'll, go, we'll, go to, we'll go to MJ Akbar and Maruf Raza, please. You see, we, we are going on specifics today, sir. But you don't seem to want to get into those specifics. I'll get MJ Akbar back into the debate. MJ Akbar. Yeah. We but want to go into specifics think, uh, or peace. Arnab, we are in danger. Not, not are, for terror. We are in very Let's serious danger peace. Specifics of, peace. of just repeating ourselves. I, I don't understand how peace can coexist with terrorism. And I think it is in the common interest so of both India and Pakistan no to end terrorism. I, I, may Absolutely. I just, may I just please make my point. Now, I think the problem lies that those who have indulged in terrorism in, against India, and the evidence is there, let's not fool ourselves. They are, apart from, you know, instead of being punished, they are lauded there as heroes. And heroes of some fancy, fantastic, absurd liberation struggle. That's the problem. And the problem is that even no, many sensible Pakistanis, you're most sensible it. Pakistanis, no, 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 that's, sir, that's, no you're sir, over, I don't. Not, you're and most sensible it, Pakistanis who would agree with me no, find no, you're themselves over -exaggerating helpless it's, it's not that. against the forces. It, it's not that. Against the it forces is not that who are actually it's not that harming Pakistan far mm -hmm. more, far more. After all, you talk of accountability. Of course, terror is harming Pakistan. We all agree. Terror is harming Pakistan. Yes. Terror so is harming for Pakistan. God's we all agree. Please don't and treat we have to come any out of it. form of terrorism as some sort of heroism. It is not. This is facade. And I use a Quranic word. This is facade. And you know that in the Quran Sharif, what is the punishment for Fasad? Please do not do this. If you don't, if you agree on this, the future is full, my friend, of great potential for the subcontinent. And may the handshake that we saw today fructify into a handshake of agreement, if we can get this out of the way. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so that we'll, go, we we'll go to those pictures exactly of the handshake on the screen out there right now. And, and, and as that handshake happens, I want to, I, on, on air, the message is very clear. This government is going to be very specific and very direct. That's a firm handshake from, from India to Pakistan out there this time. Will Nawaz Sharif deliver? Does he have, the, he has the opportunity, but will he get specific? All eyes are on Pakistan. If Pakistan is suffering today because of terror, it's because it's chosen not to act against it so far. Thank you, gentlemen, for that debate on the news tonight.